Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I want to compare the pulse oxygen capabilities of the Apple Watch Series 6 to a fingertip pulse oximeter from Walgreens. Now, first, let's take a look at this Series 6. I just got it and I absolutely love this watch. I got the 44 millimeter case LTE and I got the blue and let me say like if you're thinking about getting this blue don't think about it too much just get it I think it is absolutely gorgeous I mean what I really love is let me get that focus in the black crown with the red ring that denotes LTE against that blue case this is such a good looking watch I absolutely love it. All right, let me get this thing on. And I got it standard with the, um, like this woven sport loop. And I also got the one piece nylon sport loop that I'll be putting on eventually. But I have to say this woven material, it's actually kind of comfortable. So now in order to, well, Actually, before we go any further, let me just say that whether it's the readings that you get from a fingertip pulse oximeter that you use at home or an Apple Watch Series 6 or any other sport band or any other smartwatch, is that even if you get a good pulse ox reading, okay, if you don't feel well, contact a professional medical person, okay? Don't just go by the readings of any, any equipment that you have at home, okay? Because you could have a perfectly good pulse ox reading and something else could be wrong, okay? This is just one tool that is used in diagnosing, you know, your health, all right? So again, regardless of how good the readings may be here or your watch or any other equipment you have at home, if you don't feel well, seek professional medical care, okay? All right. So now let's get on with this. And this video is for entertainment purposes only. It's not meant to be medical advice. So again, if you don't feel well, regardless of how good you think you feel, regardless of how good that you think this is telling you are or this, I'll say it one more time. Seek professional medical care. All right. So first thing I'm going to do is we're going to take the pulse ox with the Apple Watch Series 6. So now, you don't want to have it too low on the wrist. It'll tell you that the first time you set this up. And you want to put your wrist on a flat surface, remain still, and pretty much quiet. So I will press the pulse ox complication and then press start. And it takes 15 seconds. Okay, pulse ox 98% according to the Apple Watch Series 6. So now we will try the pulse oximeter, that is the fingertip variant. So let's turn that on. Let's get the finger in there. So 97%. So we have 97 on the pulse ox fingertip and we had 98 on the Apple Watch. So we're going to do that again just to see what kind of results we get repeated. So let's click done. Let's get that focus in. Let's get the wrist flat. And we'll tap start. Okay, pulse ox 99%, and let's see what the fingertip reader has to say. So we'll start it, put the finger in, and 
96. So in this case, we have a 3% difference. So, all in all, I'm happy with the accuracy of the Apple Watch Series 6. Let me get that focus in. Sorry about that. And I absolutely love the watch. I, I just think, you know, this this color is just like, it is, it is amazing. Just such a beautiful color. Apple did a fantastic job. I mean, they do make great watches. Okay, but that's that's it. That's, you know, comparing Apple Watch Series 6 to a fingertip pulse oximeter. You can see there might be like a little tiny percentage difference. But, you know, there's a lot of variables that, you know, will go into it, you know, depending on where you have it on the wrist or if your wrist is warm, cold, sweaty, damp, whatever. Same thing with the fingertip pulse oximeter is there could be variables in the percentage. And again, I would be, you know, remiss if I didn't say again, if you don't feel well, seek professional medical help okay don't just rely on any kind of watch or sport band or any type of fingerprint apparatus you have at home you know these may say okay you're doing fine but if you're not feeling well that's your body telling you something so seek professional medical advice okay that's it thanks for watching talk with y'all later